What's going on everyone? So I'm trying to automate most of my social media because I'm tired of creating similar content and so now I am creating a automatic flow that will ultimately get rid of most of my posting with just one click. This is how easy it is. I use a tool called Zimwriter and I've linked these all down below but ultimately what it does is it goes into uh, this file right here. Google Drive and then my Google Drive will pick that file up and will uh, download it and then turn it into a markdown, upload it to WordPress and Medium and then turn it into pins and pin it to Pinterest. So these are some of the pins that it's been pinning. Um, I'm trying to, I think I'm going to start really focusing on this type of uh, style, a meme style for pushing out the content. I do have five different styles that I prompt it with and so that I can ultimately do that. Um, I do actually have it here. Let me pull that up. So what it does is it creates all these, um, where is this? Here. It creates all of these uh, things in Airtable this was from yesterday. The, it, it creates a board, it tells me the board, the title of the board, the description, the tags it uses, a link back to my website where the article is. So if I go here, it should have a link to the article. If I didn't screw it up, yeah. And I just need to update this article um, to add pictures and uh, SEO stuff, or I'll just hire someone to do it. So that's the article that it made. This is from Zimwriter. Um, and then from there, this is the prompts it creates. A photo reala uh, realistic design of a cozy home. Uh, enchanting scene. Enchanting scene. Uh, did it do three of these? I'll have to fix that prompt. I don't want it to say an enchanting scene on three of them. So there's that. And then this is the image that it pulls. Uh, it's an, uh, might not be there anymore. It might have been deleted because of Zimrite or uh, ChatGPT only keeps those images for a little bit, but this, this are the attachments that it made. First one, that's a pretty cool one. Spelled right or wrong, I put a M instead of a W, but that's cool. But yeah, so let's go back to this page. And so this, these are the images that it creates, and then it deletes them and, and goes forward. So that's what this part does, is it, um, it uploads it to Medium and YouTube. And then what it does is it takes my prompt and it creates four val uh, variables. Um, the reason why I did this is ChatGPT will give you a uh, one prompt, the results, and you can only grab those results. But if you say you turn it into a JSON file and then uh, have um, a git JSON to grab those, then uh, it will uh, it will then split it into four. So what I mean by that is this file, it'll grab it, it'll output a JSON file, and then this JSON string will turn it into different variables. So I have those variables as down here, uh, prompt one, prompt two, prompt three, prompt four, um, description of the board, board for uh, keywords for board, and title board. And so that, these are what all of these are. Title of the board, prompt one, title of the board prompt two, title of the board prompt three, and then those fill in my air table right here. And then they go and go to LinkedIn and Facebook pages. I'm still adjusting these because um, I need to find out, make sure that they go to the right thing. I haven't set that up correctly. Uh, so I'll be testing those um, by themselves and then Reddit that was this post right here. 
discovering new creation tools. Um, I got four comments. That's cool. And then, um, yeah. So then there's that. I'll have to go read those comments in a second. They're probably like, mah, 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 mah. Anyways, and then I have it post on Twitter or X. And then from here, it will go to um, my other board or scenario. And this one is on Airtable every 15 minutes. It will create a pin from that particular um, record and then which grabs the, the attachment, the link, the board, the content, and the title, and then it deletes it and then it just goes, it cycles through them till all five are deleted and then it pins all five. One, two, three, four, five. And so, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't know what happened in that one, but um, so yeah. And ultimately, that's all feeding back to my website. So um, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. I wonder. Well, there you go. So I will be releasing this um, in our group. If you go to community dot Brandon Duff, we do have our group here that. Um, with all of our uh, trainings, free trainings, essentially. If you go here, we already have 31 people. We've been growing pretty quickly, I guess. Um, five pins, one click pin generator, you can download it here. So all sorts of cool stuff going on. Um, and then you guys can have access to that. So if you guys need this tool, like I said, it's in the description uh, down below where you can join our free community. Um, one click auto pin generator is probably the newer one. Um, I will be adding more um, into our trainings. So if you go to content at scale and go to templates and scroll down to the bottom, um, I don't know why it's not pulling it up right now, but if you scroll down to the bottom, it should have the different templates for uh, how to do content at scale. So um, it also has Amazon influencer, how to set up a funnel, um, our cash flow system, lots of training in here. All of these content creation, AI, so pretty cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have uh, any requests or any other uh, automations you guys are looking for, um, I'll probably create some cool ones um, or just go over some of the ones that I'm creating and do them live so that you guys can follow suit and uh, have your own so that you can, you know, save time in your life. So that's it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.